Welcome back, everybody. Fabulous Football Friday, Week 9 edition, sponsored by ARH Beckley, Window World of Beckley, and your local Ford dealership. Oak Hill has been playing it close lately, getting wins, which is all that matters, but doing it in a very tough way, squeaking by, squeaking by. Eventually, that might come back and haunt them, right? It might hurt them. Well, they have to go to Bluefield, a team that, remember, last year they beat for the first time in many, many years. That's a big win, but Bluefield, all of a sudden, they're rolling. They're in the playoffs if things ended today. So how does it work when you go to Bluefield? Let's go out to Bluefield to find out. We head out all the way down to Mercer County at Mitchell Stadium for a matchup between two teams who are solidly in the playoff picture. And this is how things get started. Needing a win to climb the rankings is Bluefield. And Bluefield started with the ball and they came out throwing it. Good pick up there. Moving the chains. But Oak Hill's defense you're going to hear this a lot. They stood tall. James Green sniffs out the run and gets a big time stop. So here comes Oak Hill with the ball for the first time. Devin Richardson hitting the big boy. J.D. Moritz over the middle. Then Richardson is going right back to the pass. Gets his guy on the quick slant route. And here we go. Touchdown for Oak Hill. Armani Hicks. They take the lead. Oak Hill ready to roll. 7-0, big time play there. They get the stop, and now they're back on offense. Richardson goes back to the pass and finds Carson Treadway, who has been phenomenal this past month for a big game. And then once again, he goes to Treadway. This time, over the middle, Treadway comes back to get the ball, turns up speed, another big catch. Great job moving in space by Treadway, but Oak Hill can't end the drive. Turnover on downs. Bluefield, their defense is playing Ben, but don't break as Tyler Simmon lays the boom and breaks up the pass, and that's when we get the turnover on downs. But Bluefield can't score, so Oak Hill is back on offense, pinned deep in their own territory. Richardson finds Matthias Speck up the sideline. That's a huge gainer for Oak Hill, and they are rolling. Richardson going to the short game this time. He turns and gets a nice little gain, and then Richardson caps it off. Going back into space in the end zone. Look at this. What a throw. A fire of a pass to SPAC. And that's a touchdown. 14-0. Oak Hill gets the ball back. And this is absolutely nuts. We're going to show you this on the breakdown. Moritz, nowhere to go. Turns around. Throws it back to Devin Richardson, who turns on the Jets and picks up about a 35-yard gain. Oh, my goodness. Devon Marion was probably pulling his hair out when he saw that, but then it worked. What a play by Richardson and Moritz. This, this time, Richardson with time. Fires across the middle. Treadway it is again for a huge gain. There you go. Oak Hill showing what they can do on offense. Now Richardson, Moritz, Tyler Green in the back, fakes it to Moritz, takes it himself, follows his blocker, look at the good blocking, gets into the end zone, and there it is, 21-0. Oak Hill continues winning, continues getting it done. Their defense sets the tone, and then the offense gets going. Takes some time, but it gets going. And there were some plays in this game by Devin Richardson in this offense that was absolutely spectacular. Let's hit it. Full screen breakdown to show you what it is. This play right here. This throw is about as beautiful of a throw that you can get. Go ahead and play it. Okay, stop it right here. You see that whole time he's got his eyes downfield. And this is where he's going. He, he already knows who his guy is. This is where he's going. He's got space. He's got blocking, which is so important. But just look how far back Devin Richardson is. I mean, this, this takes serious arm strength and accuracy to get it where he gets it. Play it from here. Stop it. That's the thing right there. So the way SPAC comes into the picture, throws it up, Spack's still running his route. He's still going straight. Throws it so high you can't even see the ball. Perfect separation. Play it from there. And look at that. Right into the bread basket. As perfect of a throw as it's going to get there. Now, keep it going right here. 
Look at this, another rocket of a pass. That's a good hit there, and that one keeps on going through. This next play is the one that we're going to show you that this nuts. Now, this is never taught by coaches. Let's just be very clear. Coaches do not want you to do what J.D. Moritz just did, but it worked somehow. Play it here. This was not planned. This was not beforehand. This is all on the fly by J.D. Moritz just making a play. Stop it right there. Okay, there's nowhere to go here. Keep playing it. Stop that. Yeah, look, he is completely wrapped up, Moritz. I mean, he's completely wrapped up. He's about to go back into a safety or get tackled by the one-yard line. Usually, just take the loss because you don't want to fumble it, force a touchdown, anything like that. Moritz somehow sees Devin Richardson and says, yep, I'm going to pitch it to him. And that's exactly what he does. And Richardson was ready for it. He was prepared. He was ready for it. Just incredible job. Teammates knowing each other well. That is so awesome, yet really, really bad. But it worked out, so it's great. And then this is what I love. Play it right here. Look at the time that Richardson has. Stop this. Look at this. This is like, coaches will call this the circle of trust. You have this circle right here. No one's getting into that. And that's what Oak Hill's offensive line. Look, they're blocking so well, there's two guys that aren't even blocking anyone. They're just standing there. They don't even need to block anyone because they're blocking. Everyone is blocking so well. That is so much space, and it gives Richardson time to do that. An incredible pass to Treadway, and let Treadway do the rest from there. Team effort, once again, by Oak Hill. That is why they are just climbing up the ratings, and they are looking at themselves of having a home football game. Now, Woodrow Wilson almost did it. Almost knocked off the undefeated Princeton, but they couldn't do it. So, how do you bounce back from that? Well, they're at home, taking on an unfamiliar team. Let's go out to Woodrow to see what happens. Heading out there, Woodrow hosted AAA School Spring Valley in a major battle. Woodrow looking to bounce back from a defeat last week against Princeton. One, they thought they were going to win and was ready for it. But still, Woodrow is very much in the playoff picture. They're looking good. But coming out of the gate, it was Spring Valley. And that's a good throw by Liam McGuire. And an even better catch by Jalen Abercrombie. What a catch in traffic. He comes back down, somehow stays on his feet, and weaves his way through for a big gain. A few plays later, Spring Valley is going to bust it in for a good touchdown. Woodrow can't get anything going on their first drive. Spring Valley gets the stop on fourth down, and Spring Valley comes out ready to roll, winning the battle there. But Spring Valley can't get anything going. So then they end up having to get it back to Woodrow. And once again, the Spring Valley defense stands tall, jumping the route, getting the interception. Spring Valley is then able to capitalize. Ready for it, Gabe Dixon getting wide open behind the Woodrow defense. Spring Valley able to connect and extend their second quarter lead. The Woodrow defense is hanging in, though. That's their specialty. That's what they've been doing all season long. Woodrow's got to keep that defense going. And there's Jamarcus Manns getting free in the quarterback's blind spot. He gets the big sack but they can't keep Spring Valley out forever. This offense was rolling. Jaleel Sharp, Washington, takes the short pass, and look at him rumble, weaving all the way up the field. Look at him turn the Jets on, beating defenders and finding into the end zone. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Woodrow isn't going to get shut out, though. They're too good of a team, right? They're ready to roll. The third quarter, they're going to be able to get into the red zone. And Gage Burton caps it off with a good throw to Preston Clary all alone on the goal line. Touchdown, Woodrow. But that's not going to be enough. Spring Valley comes into Woodrow and gets the big win. That's always a tough loss. Bouncing back from a game like Princeton, where you feel like you had, it's so hard to bounce back from that. Woodrow unfortunately falls 33-17. Princeton keeps their undefeated season alive. 
Tug Valley wins. Greenbrier West bounced back with a win. James Monroe falls to Petersburg. And Pikeview gets a big win over Wyoming East. Shady Spring, Oak Hill, Greenbrier East, and Meadow Bridge are all victorious on this beautiful Friday night. Week 9, fabulous football is in the books. Two weeks left. Two weeks, and it's going to be the best two weeks you've ever had. Join us back here, though, as we wrap up the show right after this.